Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are remembering South African celebrities whose lives were tragically cut short by AIDS-related illnesses. This video is a tribute to these icons and a powerful reminder of the devastating impact that HIV and AIDS can have on individuals, families and communities. Koyo Bala was a member of the gay music group called Dresam. He disclosed his HIV status to the world in 2011. He passed away on the 7th March 2016 at Footscare Hospital in Cape Town at the age of 37 after a three-year-long battle with anal cancer. He was very open about his battle and refused to allow cancer to beat him. Koyo courageously embraced his HIV diagnosis as a platform to raise awareness about the disease. Through open discussions with fans and delivering educational content, Koyo worked tirelessly to combat ignorance and stigma surrounding HIV, driven by his unwavering commitment to make a difference. Lesikho Mutsipe was a South African actress and activist best known for her role in Isidingo as Leti Matabane for 10 years. In 2011, on World AIDS Day, Lesikho made a brave decision and announced that she had been living with HIV for the past 13 years and had been on ARVs for quite some time. Lisiko's courageous admission was met with overwhelming support from her peers, the media, the public, thus making her a much-needed role model in a country where examples of such bravery were very few. After coming out, Lisiko became a powerful voice for those affected by HIV and AIDS, providing inspiration and hope through her advocacy and heartfelt stories all while encouraging others to conquer their fears of disclosing their own statuses. However, this was short-lived because a year later she announced that she had stopped taking ARVs and she had started taking alternative treatment consisting of a special diet which was highly promoted by the late Minister of Health Mando Chabalala Mamsimang which really consisted of eating vegetables like potatoes and pumpkins in order to fight the disease. Unfortunately for her, like many others living with the disease at the time, she became a statistic. She was 39 years when she passed away in 2014. Brown Dash born Simpi Wimpamile was a Kwaito artist signed under TS Records and produced hits such as Gwangamadolo and Vung Vung. He had been in and out of hospital since 2010 when he was diagnosed with pneumonia. He passed away only two weeks after performing at the 18th Summer Awards. He was only 33 years in 2012. The cause of his death had been up for debate by the public. It was only after his funeral that his mother confirmed that his son indeed died of AIDS and admitted that it was hard accepting her son's HIV status at first. His estranged wife passed away from AIDS complications the previous year, which was 2011. Tabang Libisi was a South African footballer. He passed away at Helen Joseph Hospital due to AIDS-related complications at the age of 39 years. While he was alive, he worked closely with HIV and AIDS initiatives as well as counseling people who had been both affected and infected by HIV. There were speculations surrounding his death. It was his family who came out to confirm that he had the disease and had planned on disclosing his status to the world before his untimely demise. Te Bongwane was a South African actor best known for his role as Tiza in Yizo Yizo. Amongst other local shows, he also portrayed the character of Dr. Mdu Sibia in Zone 14. 
He spent the last two weeks of his life bedridden at Jablani Hospital. He passed away at the age of 39 years after a long battle with the disease. His funeral was made possible by donations from Good Samaritans. May he continue to rest in peace. Jabundaba was a member of the award-winning South African pop group Malaika. He passed away in Clackstop at Seponeng Hospital at the age of 32 years. He had announced that he had been battling cancer and continuously denied he was HIV positive, although his former girlfriend died of AIDS-related illness. It's no surprise that he repeatedly denied her status because at the time, there was a huge stigma surrounding the disease. Zombo, whose real name is Debo Hondlovu, was a member of the Guaido group Abashante under Adama Fukate's record label Triple Nine. Abashante was a household name in the late 90s and in 2000 Zombo joined the group replacing Abba who was not on good terms with Adha. He soon became a fan favorite and was very popular with the ladies. However, after seven years, his glittering career came to an end. He took to the newspapers that he was suffering and living in poverty as he lacked the money to feed himself. He made his HIV status known to the country on live show, which many came to know as Life M. It was clear to see that his health had deteriorated as he appeared in a wheelchair and looked much slimmer compared to his known muscular body. He revealed on the show that he had been living with the disease for years and was in denial. He went on to urge people he had slept with to get tested, further encouraging people in the industry to live a responsible life. Barely a month after this revelation, he died of AIDS-related causes. He was only 28 years at the time of his death. One of the people infected by Zombo is Lebuhang Mozumi, who is living positively with the disease and continues to embrace her status. Sizwe Mutawung was a South African soccer player. He was part of the squad that played for the 1996 African Cup of Nations. He was married to Zodwa Koza, who is the late daughter of Ivan Koza. Although married, just like many South African soccer stars, Sizwe had more than one partner. His world was, however, shattered when he contracted the disease as a result of his promiscuous lifestyle. His wife Zodwa divorced him, but sadly, at the time, she was already infected with HIV. The former Bafana Bafana vice captain passed away on 16 August 2001 back in his Newcastle home under very harsh living conditions. In 2006, barely five years after her ex-husband's passing, Zodwa Koza passed away as well. And at her funeral, her father expressed that he was saddened by the fact that Zodwa contracted the virus within her marriage. Ivan Koza has kept his daughter's name alive by opening the Zodwa Koza Foundation, which is a non-profit organization that supports families who have been affected by HIV and AIDS. As we remember these celebrities who lost their lives to AIDS-related illnesses, let us not forget the countless others still living with HIV and AIDS today. Their stories serve as reminder of the importance of getting tested and seeking treatment if necessary. Let us honor their memory by continuing to fight the stigma and spread awareness so that no one has to face this disease alone. Thank you for watching and please remember to get tested and know your status.